And let's talk about Joker just real quick. So you made history on Tuesday night, passing Will Chamberlain for most triple doubles by center in NBA playoff history. Four triple double this postseason, 10 playoff games. Oop. Honestly, man, you know, I was down on Joker early on, you know, earlier in his career, but if you just look at the way this dude plays and the amount of energy he just conserves, but he's playing hard. You know, I mean, he's always playing hard, but, mm -hmm. you know, don't judge a book by his cover, I guess, is the, the most important thing to say. Because there was 10, 15 years ago, you saw a dude like that on the court, like, I'm going to cook this dude. Mm -hmm. Now, just the buckets, the threes. Like, he's playing fast, but just how slow, methodical he is, how, how he's able to break down defenses and put his teammates in position to score. And obviously, the way he's elevated that Nugget squad. But Jokic is also only one of three players with a 29 point, 13 rebound, 12 assists, two block playoff game, joining Oscar Robertson and LeBron James, each of them has done it three times. So when you look at uh, most playoff triple doubles in history, Magic's got 30, LeBron's got 28, Westbrook's got 12, Jason Kidd's got 11. Uh, Jokic, Draymond, Bird, Rondo are all tied with 10. Obviously, Joker's going to close the gap, maybe have an opportunity to pass Magic at some point in, in, down the road. But is Jokic having the most dominant season from a center we've ever seen? The most dominant for stats? Yeah. You yeah. mean Will Chamberlain? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That we've ever seen. Yeah, I didn't see I'll Will. I'll say in the modern era because oh, yeah, yeah. That, that um, we've seen, cause the shit Will was doing was like, come on. When it comes to like, like the stat book, yes. Right? Player, no. That's Shaq. 100%. I was about to say that too. Like, yeah. Shaq was doing some shit yeah, when you, against, against yeah. big shot blocking centers. Yeah, when you when like, when we're talking about just overall stats, like you know the the assists, like you take away the assists, then you, obviously it's not. It's the assists that 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 gives him that push over someone like Shaq. But because we all watch Shaq and we talk about Shaq's dominance, but the the, the assists add a whole nother layer and level to it. Because Shaq was a diamond like that. First of all, who? Who wanted Shaq to pass once he got the ball? Yeah, That's black hole down there. <laughs> what the fuck you Dunk passing that for? Bitch, like, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> Dunk what that are you bitch. passing the ball for? There ain't nobody. It's just stupid. You know, but it's, that's what I said. Jokic is more like uh, back then, we'll say more of a Chris Webber style. Arvita Sabonis. Yep, Sabonis. Meets, yes. meets Vladi Divac. Yep. Meets Paul Gasol. That's how that's who Joker is to me. Yeah, that guy who's coming in, he's you know point guard and passing, shooting like you got like you know what I mean. He has the whole tool of everybody out of the post, which means he's a bigger like he he can see over everything. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, you got the guy who can see over you know you know everything like. Um, but when it comes to just being a dominant, just the most dominant big man we've seen, no, that's Shaquille O'Neal. So, glad you mentioned that after the game, uh, Joker hopped on inside the NBA uh, with Shaq and actually took a little lighthearted jab at, at the Big Diesel. Tonight, most triple doubles by a center. Congrats nice. on that one, too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. So where is wow. Shaq in that? Is it Shaq in that list? <laughs> no. No, because I never passed. Look, I <laughs> looked at the camera. <laughs> I never passed. Love you guys. So, it brings me to my last question. How dominant would Shaq be in this era of the NBA, and how dominant would Joker be in Shaq's era? We'll start with Shaq now. Shaq now in his era will revert the uh, league back to uh, drafting big man. Yeah, I mean, um, how do you stop him? Who, who, you, you, who, you who in this current NBA can stop Shaq? What no. era of Shaq are we talking about, though? Are we talking about Orlando? We talking about it about don't matter. Orlando, Orlando shit, <laughs> Orlando or Lakers, Shaq does not get stopped in this era at all. If it's like Orlando Shaq. Oof. No, Orlando <laughs> Shaq is time out after every two possessions. Time because, out, because, man. because at the end of the day, no matter where you're trying to pull him, you have to – that's that's damn near a 99% dunk <laughs> in this era because the, the, the centers are skinnier. They're not, they're not lifting weights. Yep. So it, it, makes you, it makes the game revert back to, to say, okay, we got to load up on big mans now. Yep. Think about this, though. Let me add that. Think about the pick and roll, right? Um, if the big is rolling and you only got one major center in the game and no big power forward or stretch forward, who's picking up the rotation? Small, right? Man. So we don't see bigs doing what Shaq would do if he caught that ball right there. In the, that's a dunk. Amari dunking that bitch. But we seeing motherfuckers get held up, getting stopped. They shooting little floaters and one arm, 
little put like that shit is weak. That's not dominant to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you know that if you were down there as a guard and Shaq is rolling, get the fuck out the way. Yeah. Get the Shaq, fuck out the way. <laughs> too many but fadeaways for me nowadays for my life. Too it much. Even matter. Shaq ain't picking rolling. <laughs> Give Yo. me the ball. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> gotcha. But you know the one thing I asked the, I asked the referee, um, who is harder to ref, Shaq or Dwight? Mm. They said by far Dwight. Harder. They said Shaq had skills. Said Dwight, because he wants to brute through everybody, it's hard to tell if he's causing it or they're fouling him. Wow. With Shaq. He, he was actually skilled. He had moves. So, you know, our thing was with Shaq is like, uh, we can give him, he said, we can give Shaquille O'Neal every foul we wanted. Yeah. He's fou- he, he said he's fouled every single time he touches the ball. But at what point do we say, all right, we're going let's, to let's just let him shoot 50, 60 free throws. Right. He's going to foul the game out. Yep. So they said, we, we did not call 75% of the fouls that were being called on Shaq. And that was just what we had to do. We couldn't, there was nothing we could do. And he it was, so it's not like he was hard to, the, the, he was hard to call fouls. We just, we just couldn't call them all. And he's not making the free throws, so it's hard on the league. It's fanfare. It's everybody sitting there watching him miss free throws the whole game. Like, that's not entertaining. You can't just call a foul on Shaq every Imagine time. Imagine if Shaq could shoot free throws. It's different. Imagine if he was like 75% range. He shot it like Yao, like Yao shot free throws. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine y'all playing like Shaq. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, Jokic. <laughs> they said Shaq missed 5,317 free throws in his career. <laughs> yeah, so Jokic um, will be dominant. He'd be dominant in Shaq's era as well. Yeah. A domi- Listen, a dominant player is going to be dominant. They're going to find a way to be dominant. But his skill set, like, right, the game is slower, same thing. He, same backdoor, flare, catch. Like, you think you're going to be able to guard, like, somebody like a Ray Allen or a Reggie Miller with the skills of Jokic on the court? Mm. Right? <laughs> right? Then there's nothing you can do. You're chasing, trying to chase Rip Hamilton, and he got the ball at the mid post. He's seeing everything. Yeah. So let's take it a step further. Prime, prime Joker, whatever Joker pig, whatever terminology people use now nowadays, Prime Shaq going up against each other. Shaq, what are you talking Shaq. about? Shaq will cook Joker. Yes. But will Joker cook Shaq on the other side? Shaq, the Joker wouldn't even be in the game. He would have been fouled the fuck out. 100%. And Shaq had defense. He was, he was, he was I'm saying, he bringing he him out agile. to the three point line. He was agile. Shaq ain't moving that. It depends. What Shaq? Shaq, what? Orlando Shaq? Orlando Shaq. Yeah. Orlando Shaq, fine. I'm yeah. talking about Lakers. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Lakers going to be thicker, slower. Thicker than a Snicker Shaq. But you're talking about for a full game, Joker's not playing full game because he has to guard Shaq while Shaq's posting up. Shaq all day. He's getting killed. He's getting killed. Foul tr- he's going to be in foul trouble the whole time. And who else is on Joker's team? Like, is he coming down, getting the ball every time? <laughs> like, like, what is he doing? <laughs> ah! And that, hey, hey, you keep getting dunked on. Trust me, your heart gone. Oh, wait, can we, we got the poll. Uh, There's a poll? Poll results. You are on drugs if you pick Joker. Let's see how many. <laughs> so who would do better in the other's era? Poll saying uh, Shaq's at 76%. Oh, in the other era? So yeah. Shaq in his era, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Joker 24. And that's, I mean, just a but, question like, Shaq will bust Joker's ass, obviously, on the offensive end, but Joker on, on the other side, I think would have some work for Shaq if Shaq had to guard. I don't think so. No, I not, it, he, listen, we're not, listen, listen. Would, it's not, a, it's not doing one, this shit, though. No, what I'm saying, nah. it's not a one versus one type of thing. It's in that game, yeah. right? In that game, Joker will be balling because the element of he can pass. So you're thinking about players like him, Chris Webber. Yeah, for sure. Chris Webber. Less athletic, right? Pass just as good, because Chris, Chris Webber could pass the fuck out that ball, yep. right? But can shoot. Had a longer range than Chris, yep. right? Now that's what you're doing. You know, Chris, you know, he's, his behind-the-back pass is no look, so he was a great passer. Definitely. Now think about somebody who's trying. That's what his first instinct is. That's. And before we move on, we got a, a great comment from the chat. Turner Young said, How's Jokic guarding Yao, David Robinson, Tim Duncan, Kenya Martin, Alonzo Mourning, Prime Ewing, Prime Dirk with Steve Nash and PG? He not. not. But like he's like Gil saying, though, his only advantage would be passing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Out of that. And then he would have to have a good team. Exactly. But to, but the so they both have the elements. They got to guard him 
out there, which they've never done before. Yeah, yeah. Never done. Right? So, you know, he has he has a just when they just say like somebody like when Dream came with the Dream Shake, they wasn't used to guarding someone who was moving that fast. Nope. He was only really like 6'10", like yeah. I know what he was listed at. But yeah, but you know, it was hard for them hard. when he was he was moving that fast, so he was just kind of a different thing. I remember with with um uh, with uh Yao, I used to I used to fuck with Yao all the time because uh, when I watched his film all over and over, whenever he dribbled two and went back the other way, he he double tap traveled every single time. Yeah. So I tell the rap, I say, listen, when he's on the left block. When he's on the left block and he goes back baseline, it's a travel. Watch, fuck all this tall shit up here. Watch his feet. It's a travel every single time. Travel. So when he's posting, I have a ref, he's about to travel, ref, he's about to travel, and then I get him a couple times. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see Joker I see Joker playing well against, you know, like a, a Patrick Ewan, uh, the Kim Bay. Getting them out there on hey, the, the wings. What are you gonna do offensively? <laughs> That's not a deal thing. So Gil, producer wanna know, uh, how much pregame snitching did you do? You was out there snitching on other players to the ref? Facts. Facts. That's a, <laughs> facts. During the little circle, the captain circle? Uh, I wasn't, was it, but obviously I wasn't a captain, so I never really got to talk to the captain circle. Hey, hey watch that bullshit he be doing. It ain't snitch, I'll just I'll just say it. Hey, uh, Call the right call. One time I do support snitching to give your team a competitive advantage. Yeah, I'm calling all pre-travels. Hey, yo, he likes to put, listen, this move right here, when it's in his right hand, he's going to pull it like this and cross. The left hand, he's good. Jamal Crawford, yeah. tell the ref, hey, he's <laughs> carrying. I'm said, telling on like, y'all niggas. I'm telling. Say you like Chris Paul with the untucked jerseys, how you be, how you be catching dudes. Yeah, that's respect. Agent Zero, change the game. Respect on his name. Look, with the honor call for greatness, the chosen a few that carry the gift of genius. Who do what they do? Who possess 